Now, I'm not saying that I am selling these bags. I'm just thinking about it. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. How fast can I say my intro? As fast as I possibly can. Now you've seen the title and the thumbnail on this video, so you know that what I'm going to be talking about today is bags that I'm thinking about selling. Now I'm not actually selling these bags. I, I don't plan to sell these bags right now. They're not listed for sale anywhere. I, I, I'm not selling them. Right, This isn't a vlog sale or anything. They're just bags that I am thinking about selling. In fact, both these bags I did actually put up for consignment uh, several months ago, and then I decided to take them back. So these are both bags that I did actually at one point decide to sell and then go, no, I'm not ready yet. But they are still bags that are, I'm wishy-washy about them in my collection, and I'm going to tell you why. The first bag that I want to talk about today is actually this one. And let me explain. Okay, so this is my mini reissue in this 22P pink color, and it is a great bag. I love the mini reissue. Um, I only have one in my collection, and honestly, I really want to get more. I really like this style. I really like this size. I love that it has the double grommets. I recently made a video comparing the mini reissue to the 225 size, the small, medium, uh, the second size up of the reissue size. And I told you that between the two, I really like my 225, but I like the reissue more, the mini reissue more. I, I think it's a great bag. It fits a bunch for its size. And for Chanel, I think that it's one of the few bags in Chanel right now that is still fairly reasonably priced new for, for what it is. And I know that like it's saying a lot because this bag currently retails for, I think, 4,900, which is a lot, but for getting a full bag with double grommets for Chanel in like a beautiful color that you can buy new from boutique, I think the mini reissue is still worth it if Chanel is worth it to you. That being said, why am I thinking about parting ways with this? It's the color. Uh, it. I bought this bag partially, I don't want to say I bought it out of FOMO because I don't think that I did. I bought it because I love the mini reissue. I really wanted a pink bag. I'm still kind of on the hunt for the perfect pink bag, if that makes sense. And I just, I've been trying to wear this as, as I can. And I just find that it's not the right pink for me. This bag is a little bit of a chameleon. It doesn't, it does change in the light, um, like paler to darker, but overall, this is more of a corally salmony pink. It's got an orange undertone and that's just, it's not my preference. I, I don't know if I knew my preference entirely when I purchased it last year. I've had this bag for about a year and a half now. I bought it last February question mark or March. It was 22 P. So it was like around that time. I think it was maybe February. And at the time I was like, oh, it's a pink bag. I love the mini ratio. I'd been wanting a mini ratio for a really long time. I got this before the previous price increase, so I didn't pay 4,900 for it. And so I bought it and I really like it as a bag. And that's the thing that keeps holding me back. I think it's beautiful. Like I think the bag itself is beautiful. I think the mini reissue is just such a cute little bag. It's so classic. You can wear it a number of different ways. And that's why I'm hesitating. I'm hesitating. It is more expensive new in boutique now. It is about $500 more. This was $4,400 last year and now it is $4,900. So it's a $500 increase plus tax. You're talking about like a $700 increase altogether, $800. So like well into $5,000 and a half. And so I don't want to part with this until I find the right reissue for me because I still really like this bag but at the same time I don't want to buy another one and then not be able to sell this one on so I'm kind of in a catch-22 I'm thinking about selling it still I really am because I, I just I want a different color and I don't know what color that would be I tried on earlier this year or yeah like much earlier this year I think it was this year I tried on a really beautiful uh, chevron gold reissue and I kind of think of that, no it was last year, it was late last year because it was the same year that I bought this one. And so you, the, Chanel currently has like a two bag quota that you can only get two of the classic styles a year and so I had tried on that other mini reissue. I think, uh, my timeline might be wrong, sorry about that. I put it on my Instagram so I'll 
put a picture here for you. And I kind of consider that gold one the run that got away because I had been wanting a gold bag and I really, really liked that one, but I just wasn't in a place to, to buy another bag at that price at that time, so I didn't. Uh, but I still think about that bag. One of it actually popped up on Fashion File for under retail a few weeks ago, and I stared at it. But I, I didn't, I didn't make the purchase, obviously, and just for a couple of different reasons. I'm still saving my money for Japan. I, I'm really waiting for that to like kind of go a little bit, not go nuts, but like I, I've been saving money expressly because I want to make some purchases in Japan that I'm, I'm looking to track down, and so things that I can buy in America. Are sort of like less uh less on my what's the word priority list they're less on my priority list so just kick the camera sorry i will say that i think that if i bought and like was able to get another reissue in a different color i probably would keep this one but if i'm only having one mini reissue in my collection i don't want it to be this one i want it to be a different color but if i could have two and I, you know, who knows, I, I might get another one and, and not sell this one. I just doing a little question mark dance. So, I mean, I'd love to hear your opinions. I mean, you've heard me talk about it. You've heard me say like my, my hesitations about why I, I, I don't want to sell it right now because it's so pretty, like it's so pretty, but color, another one, should I just sell it and put the funds towards something else? I'd love to hear your opinions and your input. So that is the first bag that I am thinking about selling, but like, I, I, I'm not yet, I'm, I'm not yet. Okay, and the other bag that I'm thinking of selling, and this is one that some of you might be horrified by, and again, I'm not selling it. I'm not selling it. I'm just thinking about it, is this one? Um, <laughs> I mean, even as I say that, I like cringe because like I don't, why would I, why would I part ways with this bag? Like, I'm, I'm nuts. Well, I will tell you, I will expound. So this bag is my vintage Chanel Jumbo in the 24 karat gold alloy plated hardware in the brown caviar. It is this beautiful dark brown, like this beautiful rich chocolatey brown with this gold hardware that I think accents it so nicely. It's gorgeous. I bought this from Rebag. It was around my birthday and it's in excellent condition. I think it was listed as good or very good condition and this thing is pristine like the corners have no wear it's had no touch-ups the the structure is fantastic like look at that um this is i believe a three series uh or a five series i don't remember i'm gonna just check really fast i might as well give you the accurate information here that took too long it's a five series i had to like get the phone out with my uh, flashlight to see into it which i expected but like i just you know anyway so it's a beautiful beautiful bag the hardware is a rich color there's almost no wear on the hardware the turn lock is good it's nice and snappy it's like there are barely creases on the inside there are no creases on the outside like nothing this bag like was it used a five series is between 1997 and 1999 so this bag is at least 20 years old if not 25 years old and like for that like it's it looks great it is pristine and so it is absolutely beautiful and i think it's beautiful every time i look at it and every time i take it out and and play with it or see it on my shelf or dust it off or something it is yeah, I am struck by how gorgeous it is, but I don't wear it. I don't wear it very often. I think I've, I've been trying to, I've been trying to wear it and style it, but I, I think every, every time I take it out and like I put on an outfit and I take this out and to try it with the outfit, I always, I almost always put it back and pick a different bag. I want, I was going to say, I don't know why, but I kind of do know why it's because it's brown, which is ridiculous because I bought it because of this beautiful chocolate brown color. Like it's, the brown, Chanel doesn't do browns very often. And I, I don't really often see browns on the pre-love market and certainly not in caviar. I normally see brown lambskin, which brown lambskin also looks gorgeous. And sometimes it has this contrast in our like lighter colored brown color. And I think it's beautiful. And I keep finding myself gravitating towards brown Chanel bags, but going like, don't buy more. You have one and you're not wearing it. Like, what are you doing? Here's the thing. I am not great at styling anyway. I, I'm I'm still like, I've mentioned this a couple times, I'm still kicking around my idea of like fashion and I, I'm still trying to work into figuring out how to wear things. And so I don't have a lot of confidence sometimes in putting stuff together. And I wear um, a lot of like black bottoms, like I wear a lot of leggings and stuff. And I always feel weird pairing this dark brown color with black 
leggings or, or trousers or something like that. And if I'm wearing like jeans or blue jeans, I tend to gravitate towards some of my other bags. Or if I'm wearing blue jeans, I'm wearing like a black top and I have the same problem with, I don't want to wear this with like a black top because I just, I feel like it clashes. It might not. I've been trying to find pictures on like Pinterest and stuff for like, you know, outfit inspo, but everybody's wearing like beige camel coats and, and white clothes. And I don't really wear a lot of white stuff. So I have a really hard time with white. So I, I mean like that, it, it works for them of the like four pictures I found, but there's not a lot for me that I can like take inspiration from. And so, you know, if I'm going to get reach for a jumbo, I usually reach for my black Mademoiselle jumbo, you know, with the big CCs and that's also black. So I feel it matches a little bit better or I want a bigger bag, I'll reach for like my Delvo or something or a tote. And like I have my brown Louis Vuitton monogram canvas bags, but I, I don't find that they clash with black as much, maybe because they're patterned and they're a little bit busier. But this dark brown, especially with like the bright gold hardware, I just feel that it doesn't it doesn't go for me. I don't I don't know why. And so I keep thinking I love this bag, but I'm not using it. Should I just sell it? But I don't want to. I mean, I think this bag is beautiful. It's a, a lovely addition to my collection. I love having a vintage brown caviar piece. I really like the style of jumbo, the like square boxier shape. They fit a lot. They're, you know, they're they're great bags. Um, and I like, you know, caviar is a little bit more durable sometimes, even though my lambskin, my vintage lambskin pieces are very hardy. You know, they're from series is where the lambskin was like very nice. I don't want to sell it because I'm not using it. And yeah, I could put the money towards a different thing. I could put more of the money towards another reissue. I could put that money towards a Delvo bag, another Chanel, another several Chanel's, depending on what it was priced at. I, but, you know, market value for this is, is pretty good. Um, resale value for bags isn't as high as it used to be. But I mean, the market fashion is cyclical. The market is cyclical. I'm not in a rush. So like I probably could put on the market and eventually get what I wanted for it. Maybe I'm not sure we'll see or we won't see because I won't do that. I was talking to my friend Megan, Train Girl Megan. She's uh, wonderful and she hears a lot about my bag issues. We talk about it a lot, but you know, back and forth. There's, it's, it's equal, equivalent exchange, obviously. Uh, I'll link her channel down below. I just recently visited her in New York. We went to New York City and like went to a bunch of boutiques. It was a lot of fun. I'll link that vlog for you. But she was talking about the fact that she has some Chanel as well and she would never sell them because the chances of her getting them again are very slim, especially at current prices. Like this bag isn't even made anymore. I wouldn't be able to get it. Like my reissue, I could probably, I could get another reissue. I'd be paying more money for it, but I could get another one. It hasn't been discontinued yet. But this bag, I was, I felt very lucky and I still feel very lucky that I found it on the pre-love market at all. Like I, you know, I was, I didn't, they don't come up very often. Vintage caviar, especially in this brown color, doesn't come up very often. You'll more often than not find the vintage black in caviar with gold hardware, sometimes in silver hardware, in different types of like condition. This is in great condition too. And so if I sold this bag, the chances of finding it again, if I missed it would be slim to none, truly. And if I replace this bag, like I don't know, like if I wanted to buy another vintage Chanel, I would just do that. Like I, I would buy a, another one to add to my collection. I don't necessarily need to sell this one to fund a different bag. I mean, I always could. It would be nice to have additional play money, sure. But I don't like need the money. So it's not like a necessity to, to sell it for whatever reason. I'm not like starting a business venture or trying to buy more property or something like that. I, so I don't like need the cash. I'm not in dire straits, which is wonderful. Like I'm very glad to not be in dire straits. I don't need the money. I'm privileged enough to be able to say that. I, I think about selling it because I'm not using it and I always have a problem. Like I've sold a few bags of mine that I haven't used and so I sold them. And I will say that sometimes that's regrets of mine that the bags were so nice. I certainly can't get them again. And I do in some ways regret having sold them, even though, you know, I've used the money for other things. I, 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 I've repurposed what I got for them into other like avenues and it was money well spent, sure. And, and now they're making somebody else very happy, hopefully, but I miss them. And maybe I'll make a video. Tell me if you'd like to hear me make a video about like bags I've sold and regretted and why I, I could. 
But with this bag, I think that if I sold it, I'd regret it because I couldn't get it in my collection again. And it's so special and unique. I just wish that I wore it more. And I don't know how to do that because I just, I find the brown color very difficult. I will say that it's been kind of good to have it in my collection because there are other brown bags that I've been tempted by. And then I go, no, stop. You have one that you don't wear. Why would you get more? Don't be silly. And so on that note, it's good. I, I, I like brown. I don't, I just, I really like brown bags, but I don't wear them. So I just gravitate towards, if I'm going for a darker color, I'm gravitating towards black or, or blue or something. So it's just a harder color for me to style. And I, that's kind of funny because it's like, it's the same thing with the reissue. It's just the color is harder for me to style and wear. So maybe I should update my wardrobe or change my fashion thought somehow. But that, you know, that's just sort of how it is. I, I think it's a beautiful bag. I wish I wore it more, but I only have one body and, you know, so many, so many days in the week to, to wear my luxury bags. And sometimes it's not appropriate. Like I don't want to take a Chanel with a giant CC, a big giant Chanel with a big CC on it, like out, or it's a little bit too big or it's a heavy bag. So it like, I have to take that into account too, or I don't, you know, it's snowing. Although this is a pretty durable bag. I've taken this out in like light snow and light rain before and been fine and not worried about it. So, but you know, there's, there's only so many occasions that I can wear a giant Chanel bag anyway, and then add the brown and I don't know. Um, if you have any suggestions on how to style it, like please feel free to let me know. I'd be open to hearing about it. If you have any uh, input again about whether or not you think I should sell these bags, like do I sound like I'm more ready to sell them or are you agreeing with me? Like don't do it yet. You're, you're, not, you're not ready, you're, you're not sure. I, I think I'm not sure. That's why this is not a vlog video, a vlog, a vlog sale video. So yeah, those are the bags in my collection that I'm currently thinking of selling. Would love to hear your thoughts. If you have a bag that you're thinking of selling and you're on the fence about it, please do also share it down below. I'd love to hear about it. If you like this video, please do give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.